Hey guys, it's Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com and we're in room 703G. This is a pre-college drawing class and I want to introduce you guys to a young lady named Pauline. Uh, Pauline is from Milwaukee and Pauline is how old? 17. 17. So you guys, first let's look at the Mondo Big Mama sketchbook. Okay, this isn't a little 8x10. This is a big... Um, What's the size of this thing? 11 by 14 right there. 11 by 14. Okay, we got that measurement right there. And um, this sketchbook, again, how old are you? 17. 17. So, uh, Mr. Beckman mistook that for a girl, so I'm like, ah, oops. Yeah, I just want to share with you guys some of the drawings here in a, in a few minutes. And some of them are just, let's actually go to the back of the book, because the back of the book is your most precious work. And so, um, just look at some of the characters here. Sorry for the movement. Um, they're really amazing. I, I, I might take a couple of stills and put them in a blog post. Just visit Joran Tutorials Online um, blog and, and you'll see some of them. But, I mean, these are just really, really awesome. And, um, let's see, some of the, some of the pages, I, again, you know, you just, if you want to do this for a living, you just got to really start early and just draw as much as you can. This just reminds me of a good friend that I had in, in college who used to fill up, you know, pages. I mean, just that face with those eyes are just really pretty. And um, Paul, Pauline from Milwaukee had another little sketchbook that she had yesterday that I really wanted to show you guys, but it is not here. She left it at home, and um, it had all this great watercolor stuff in there, which I thought was, like, awesome. And this one doesn't have as much watercolor, but we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. It's still, um, you know, some of these characters, there's a lot of movement, a lot of expression with the line. Um, definitely really pretty to look at. Like, even this little still on the video screen right now is just killer. Look at that fabric on the girl to the right. Um, so, I, again, you know, uh, some of my undergraduates, and you know who you are, um, going into second year of college, um, who would had my class, I just wanted to, I, I'm kind of shooting this video for you guys, um, so you draw this summer, and you don't not draw, uh, because Pauline is coming to get you, okay? She's coming to get you, and, um... Yeah, this is really pretty, pretty drawings. And I showed um, the pre-call. You guys, I'm, I'm speaking to you through YouTube here. Um, some of the undergraduate students, I, I showed um, your, all your sketchbook drawings um, through the videos too, uh, to the pre-college students, and they really dug them. Um, really gorgeous um, creatures, and I'm trying not to shake this phone, but after you do this for a couple minutes, it just is impossible. Um, wow. And now it's going to start to rain here in NYC, so hopefully it doesn't pour and we don't get raindrops on the AC. Uh, look at this. Isn't that awesome? Pauline, how old are you again? <laughs> 17. 17. All right. So if I had to do a little constructive criticism of the Paul, Pauline sketchbook right over here, her line and her characters, and, and, and let me just say one other thing at 343 into the video. Um, all of these drawings, most of them, I'd say about 90, 95% are drawn from her imagination. All right, so that is another thing to take into consideration um, when you guys are looking at this. But the constructive criticism that I would add to Pauline's drawings is that I really feel that she needs to add some light and shade. Okay, if she did a little light and shade, she'd kind of push them over to the next level and they'd have a little bit more volume. Her line has a poop load of volume already, so the, the light and shade would just be like unbelievably cool um, and just add. Yeah, like you're doing some light and shade over there on that girl's legs, and uh, it's just, it adds a whole other dimension to it. All right, we'll look at a couple more pages and, and then we'll call it a day. Is there anything specific that you want to show in the sketchbook that I'm not showing that you're really, that you're really into? Wait, here's one for the teacher. I've got to show that one. Okay, go ahead. Show us the one that you really dig. Yeah. I think just like the motions page because I actually worked hard on this, this page. This page? Oh, yeah. That's really nice. Well, I tried shading from there without a reference, so... Wow. 
And um, tell me a little bit about how long you've been doing this drawing, and do you draw every day in your sketchbook? Like, yeah. how'd you get so good so young? That's the question. I actually wasn't really all that good young, but I drew every day because my teachers thought I was good, so positive encouragement when I was young really helped, and I've been drawing since I could hold a pencil. Okay. Since I was like two, when I watched like Pokemon for the first time, and Sailor Moon, and TV in general. Cool. All right, you guys, there's a lot more in here, and there's that other sketchbook that we're not even showing you. Um, you know, even this little guy right over here is really cool. Yeah, that's not mine. It's not that page wasn't yours? Okay, or oh, at least I that drew, character? I drew, yeah, that character. I drew that. Okay. Wow. All right. Thank you so much, Pauline, for sharing.